The biggest, the best, the most luxurious. Dubai is known as the Little Emirate with the big ambition to become the financial hub of the Middle East. The real estate boom that fueled more than five years of double digit economic growth has fizzled, leaving this city of superlatives with an $80 billion debt load. Dubai, unlike other parts of the region, isn't a major oil producer. It doesn't have a sovereign wealth fund to fall back on. It's always been an active participant um, in the global capital markets. When those global markets ceased to function, Dubai felt the felt the the effects of that very clearly and very acutely. This weekend, ruler Sheikh Mohammed dismissed the governor of the Dubai International Financial Center and three prominent investment council executives who had been at the forefront of the construction boom, including Imar Properties Chairman Mohammed Al Abar. 2008, prices went up almost by 50 percent in one year, but they also crashed. But UBS and Deutsche Bank disagree, forecasting that prices will decline another 20 percent. Real estate oversupply is one problem. In recent months, at least four corporate executives have been arrested and charged with fraud. Because of the boom, there was um, uh, a few cases of uh, corruption. Now, Dubai is faced with the challenge of finding sustainable industries to replace real estate. Financial services, media services, trade and logistics, wholesale, retail, leisure, it's here. Um, and I think it's on the strength of those sectors that Dubai stands and falls. Still, there are plenty of Dubai bulls, HSBC among them. Their forecast is for growth of 3 to 4% in 2010, but there are still a rough 12 months ahead.